If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the latest updates. Today we are going to discuss the concept of algebraic functions and how they differentiate from the functions that we have already discussed in our previous lecture where we are given with just the ordered pairs. What if you will be asked to find the ordered pairs if you are given with an equation? That is actually the algebraic equation. So let's uh, uh, let's find the difference between them so that you can so you may not get confused with the functions whether they are in the form of ordered pairs or they are in the form of um, uh, of the in the form of equations. So first we have a short overview of our previous lecture so that you can have a clear uh, uh, difference between the functions in the form of ordered pairs and in the form of equations or the general equations from which you have to find the ordered pairs. So so a function function can be defined as a set of ordered pairs as we have already seen on, in our previous lecture. This is one form of representation of the function. How? Let's write it down like we have an ordered pair 4 and 8. This is one of the ordered pair of the function where we have 4 that is the input and 8 is the output. Or we can also represent it as 4 is x and 8 is f of x that we evaluate at the at the value of x that means the function that means the function f of x this is the function takes in x x that is 4 in this case and gives you with the 8 that is f of x so we have also seen this function in the form of multiple ordered pairs like 2 4 3 5 7, 8, these are the multiple ordered pairs you, we have already seen in the function where this the, these ordered pairs means that this 2 is related to 4. There is a rela relation that exists between the first and the second element. 3 is related to 5 and 7 is related to 8. So this means the function should have specific property that relates its input to the output. As it, pro it has to give, uh, as it has to provide, it has to provide you with the set of ordered pairs on certain values of x that gives you with the output f of x. So this is the one form of function that we have already seen in the previous lecture. What is the uh, advantage of such functions? The advantage is, is you can easily graph such functions. What is the advantage? Let's write it down here. Advantage is easy graphing by using the ordered pairs. So this form of function has another has its own advantage. But what if we talk about the algebraic functions? What are algebraic functions? This is there is another way of defining the functions that is the algebraic functions. Let's discuss them. We will see what are algebraic functions. So your concept must be clear regarding the ordered pairs and the algebraic functions. So we will start with the concept that we have to consider the function like this. This is a function. It has an input and the output. Where the input is x and the output is f of x. So basically function is here x like a machine that gives exactly one output for one input. So we can say that function gives one output at one input. It means a unique value of output for one input. So we can represent the function as the, its representation is y is equals to f of x. What does it mean? It can be read as value of x. This means value of f at x or image of f at x. This can be read like this. This is the basically uh, the general uh, representation of a function. So here they can they can be classified as x is basically the independent variable as it is not dependent on any values any other values. It has its own values and what is y? Y is basically a dependent variable that is dependent on the value of x. So in function in algebraic functions we came across the dependent and the independent variable. And we, have, we will have a function that will not be represented in the form of ordered pairs but in the form of dependent and independent variables. So this is the general representation of the algebraic functions. 
Let's have an example to, this, to see how they are different from the ordered pairs. Example is, you are given with the equation, with the function like f of x is equal to x square. This is a function where we are evaluating, we are evaluating f of x, f of x at the value of x. Currently, we don't know the value of x. As in case of the ordered pairs, we will already have the values of x and y. But this is a general function where we have to find the value of x and y. That is, we have to evaluate this function. Similarly, one, one more example of a function is, we will evaluate the function in our next lecture. Currently, you just have to get the concept of algebraic functions. This is another algebraic function where, let's represent the different value. This is the function name. It can be any, it can be g, h, i, j. It is not restricted that the name of the fun function should be f. Then this x is the input value. This is just the placeholder. This x is just the placeholder. There is no importance of this x at, the, at this place. And this is basically the what to output. This, these are the different uh, elements of a function. So, we can say that instead of f, instead of, uh, of x, we can also take other variables. How? Let's write them. We can also take f of h. Then what we will get? We will have to find the, find, we, ha we will have to make this function accordingly as h cube plus 1. This means if, if we use any variable, it doesn't matter. The variable is just a placeholder. Okay? So similarly, we can also write as f of q. Again, the function will be like this. Again, the function has no impact. If we evaluate this function, the answer will be same. So, you have to understand the different elements of a function in order to understand what are these algebraic functions and how they differ from simple ordered pairs. Now, how we can find the ordered pairs from this function? We can find the ordered pairs from this function, from these functions by taking the random values of x and finding the corresponding values of y. We will see this in the next lectures. Sometimes it is also possible that we don't have any function name. Then in that case, we can write the function as no function names can be written as y is equal to x square, where we have this is the output and this is the input. And their relation and they are related to each other in terms of squaring. That if we take the square of the input, we will get the output. This is how they are, this function is related. So the rules for the algebraic functions are the same as the rules for the ordered pairs that in order to say that whether the given relation is a function or not. So let's see what are the rules or let's revise the rules. Rules of algebraic function. This means not all algebraic functions are uh, uh, not all, you cannot say that all uh, uh, algebraic functions are actually the functions. So you have to check the two properties in, our, in order to say that the given relation uh, between the input and the output variable is a function or not. So the condition number one is every element of x should be related to y. That is, that is there should be no element on, of x on which the output is not found. So we have to find the output on every element of x. Second condition is function should be single valued. What does it mean? Let's see. This is a very important condition that you have to check in order to find the relation is a function or not. In the ordered pairs we have seen the second condition was that every element should be mapped with the single element of y. That there, are, there should be no two x values that are mapped to any single value of y. So same is the case here. Single valued function means one to many relation between the input and output is not allowed. Now what does it mean? It means that if I find the value of function at x is equal to 3 then the output should not be like this, this 4 or 5. That means there should not be any value of x on which you get the two values of the y. That is one to many it means if I write like this, this is input and this is output, this is x and this is y and we have 1, 2, 3 and we have 4, 5 and 6. 
and if we map it like this 1 to 4 and 1 to 5 it means this is a one to many relationship this means that each value of input we are getting two values of output in such a case the given relation is not a function in case of algebraic functions as well as in case of ordered pairs ordered pair function but many to one is allowed many to one is allowed in which we have that if we have f of we can have f of 3 equals to 4 and f of 4 equals to 4. It means at 2 inputs we get the same value of output. This is allowed. But it is not allowed that we have one input and we get the two outputs. Two different outputs. So these are the two conditions that are required for the, for the algebraic functions. Same as in case of the ordered pair. So that's all from the algebraic functions. What are the algebraic functions? How they are represented? How they differ from the ordered pairs? And what are the rules of the algebraic functions? Now, in our next lecture, we will see how you can evaluate the algebraic functions to get the value of x and y or how you can evaluate the algebraic function at any value of x. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.